journey takes us south along the Gulf of Mexico to St. Martin's Marsh, located in Citrus County, near the towns of Homosassa Springs and Crystal River. St. Martin's Marsh is roughly 31,000 acres of submerged lands. Open water, inlet bays, tidal rivers, creeks, salt marsh, and a series of hammock islands provide habitat for a rich and diverse plant and animal life. For thousands of years, artists have captured nature's wonders through pen and paint. For Karen Anderson, St. Martin's Marsh Aquatic Preserve is the ideal studio for capturing the natural beauty of Florida. I go out, I do research. The staff takes me out on their airboat and we go through the salt marsh and we just peruse and see the vastness and the diversity that's out there. And I just try to take specific species and put them together in posters and artwork, the painting. Just that feeling of awe is the feeling I have when I sit down and I draw. The inspiration I have is strictly coming from nature and knowing that having the art talent to be able to use that talent for an educational purpose towards the public and showing them how important nature is to each of us. The key point to me is knowing that nature is just so important to each of us, it really is. And this is what we need to protect and we need to respect it. Herons, egrets, ibis, wood storks, and other wading birds feed on the mud flats and edges of the marshes. Many commercial and recreational fish species spawn in the marsh or live there for a large part of their life. People just don't realize how important nature is to them. You sit at home and you watch TV, you're on your computer, or you're in the comforts of your home. People were meant to be surrounded by nature. I mean, who doesn't enjoy watching the sunset? And who doesn't enjoy walking outside and hearing the birds sing and the smell of a pine forest? The endangered Florida manatee finds refuge in the winter warm waters of the Crystal and Homosassa rivers. The clear spring-fed waters of Kings Bay draw scores of these beloved mammals, as well as thousands of visitors annually. Sean Bradley, a dive instructor in the St. Martin's area, shares his perspective on ecotourism and the water quality in the area. The aquatic preserves are going to be the basis of all the life in this area. For the number one headline creature would be the manatees. Without their aquatic preserve, for them to be able to feed and come in here in the winter months as a natural sanctuary, even if they came in here to stay warm, they wouldn't have enough food to protect them and to keep them going. And our numbers in the Crystal River herd have been going up and up and up every year. So we've seen good return from protecting the grasslands to the effect on the manatees and the rest of the uh, fish population and the other habitat in the area. The only place in the world you can come and swim with the manatees. So there's thousands and thousands of people come every year to see the manatees and, and enjoy the springs. And it's not only the manatees, all that's a big draw. You have beautiful cavern formations here that are great for diving. You have great magnitude one springs that you can snorkel and swim in. So there's lots of other perks to be in the area, even if you're a canoe or a kayaker, to be able to enjoy this area. We're called the Nature Coast for a reason. It's because it's one of the best preserved areas in Florida. Aquatic preserves belong to all of us. And aquatic preserves are all of our responsibilities to be good stewards of the land.